Hi, this is Joni Burkhart, and I would like to give you an overview of our new employee evaluation system. The system is known as Frontline Employee Evaluation, and it is an easy system to use and work through. Right now, I have just signed in to the evaluation system, as I showed you in the last video. And you can see I have a tab here called Learning Plan. It is the only tab that teachers will have. Right here, the SLO forms are waiting for your submission. This is your dashboard. Anything that you need to submit or any actions that you need to, be, that you need to take will be listed here, whether it's for an observation or for an SLO. Currently, right now, the SLO forms are waiting. These forms have to be submitted by November 9th. And you have a form for your individual. You have a form for your school. We're going to change that to district. And you're going to have your SLO artifacts if you need to submit any. If you would like to see what your current evaluation plan is, you would go to My Evaluations. Click on Evaluations. And here is your entire workflow for your student learning objectives and your evaluation. I can see that my username is Review Teacher one at Washington County. I'm located at Washington County Test School. I'm a non-tenured framework for teaching teacher. And nothing has been completed. I can use these plus signs to look at my entire workflow for my student learning objectives. Again, I have an individual school, SLO artifacts, Remember, school is going to become district. Mid-interval form where I'm going to meet with my principal at the middle of the year to discuss how I'm doing with my SLOs. And then the target results where I will enter any of my results that have occurred throughout the year. Because I'm a non-tenured teacher, I have four observations. I have observation assessment one. And I can just make that smaller. There we go, by hitting the plus and minus. And in an observation, the only thing that a teacher has to complete is a pre-observation form, the teacher observation, and then a post-observation form. Because I'm non-tenured, again, there are four. And then at the end of the year, my summative evaluation with my rating will be, will be right here. And what this will be is a combination between your growth scores, which are your SLO scores, and your professional practice scores. If you are not a non-tenured framework for teaching teacher, if you're tenured, you would only have two observations. If you are off-cycle, if it says tenured off-cycle framework for teaching teacher, then that means that you would not have any observations to complete. You would only have to complete the student learning objectives. And the scores from the previous two years in your performance will be adjusted in order to receive your final rating. In the next video, I will show you how to complete your student learning objectives. Thanks.